In this problem, we're told a shopper pushes a 7.5 kilogram shopping cart up a 13 degree incline as shown in this figure. Find the magnitude of the horizontal force F needed to give the cart an acceleration of 1.4 meters per second squared. So the first thing as usual is to draw what's going on. So we have this person uh, pushing this cart, right, which is 7.5 kilograms. And we know it's gonna be up a 13 degree incline. And then we also know we want them to accelerate it at 1.4 meters per second squared. And so what we're trying to do is find the magnitude of this horizontal force right? This force that they're pushing on it, essentially. And so how are we going to solve for this? So the way we do it is by using Newton's se uh, second law, which basically tells us force equals mass times acceleration. Okay. And so what you want to do is take the sum of the forces in the x direction. So when I say x direction, what I'm talking about is this line right here. So x is basically up this incline. So just keep that in mind. And then the y is just perpendicular to it, but we're not going to use the y in this one. But just keep in mind when I refer to the x direction, I'm talking about all the forces along this line. Okay. So keep that in mind. And so what we want to do is take the sum of the forces in the x, and so we know the sum of the forces equal mass times acceleration, right? So mass times acceleration is equal to the sum of the forces in the x. So what we want to do now is find the forces in the x. So how do we do that? So the different forces we have in the x, right? So we have this force, right, this one, but keep in mind this is horizontal. So what we want to do is find the horizontal component of it that's along this line. Because keep in mind this one's just at 90 degrees, right? It's just straight, but we want the one that's along this incline. So what is that going to be? So we know that the force in the x direction, right, is just going to be equal to f times the co uh, cosine of 13, right? We're trying to solve for f, so we can just leave it like this. So f times the cosine of 13, right, because we're trying to solve for f, which is this horizontal force. So all we're doing is replacing f sub x. And since it's going in this direction, we say that it's positive, right? But what other, other forces do we have acting in uh, the x direction? So we actually have another force, which is the weight force. So we have this force mg going down, but there's going to be a horizontal component of it. And so you can imagine it like this. Essentially, it's this right here. And if you want to find the horizontal component of a weight force, all you do is do mg times the sine of which the angle is being inclined. In this case, it's 13 degrees. So mg is just the weight force. And so you just multiply by the sine of 13 to get the horizontal component of it. So since we're adding up the horizontal components, right, we do minus mg times the sine of 13. And the reason it's negative is because it's going in the opposite direction. So it's going down. It's basically pushing us down, right? So these are going to be our forces in the x. Those are the only two forces in the x. So what we can do now is we can just go ahead and solve for f, which is what we want to find, right? So uh, what we can do is add mg to both sides, or mg times the sine of 13. So mg times the sine of 13 plus ma is equal f times the cosine of 13. So if you divide both sides by cosine of 13, right? So cosine of 13, you're going to get f. And so what you want to do is just do m, right? So just plug everything in. So m is just the mass of the cart, which is 7.5. So 7.5 times g, I'm just going to use 9.8, right? Times the sine of 13 plus the mass of the cart, 7.5, times the acceleration, which is we're going to be accelerating at 1.4, 1 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration divided by the cosine of 13. And this is going to give us f, which is what we're solving for. So... Uh, you just want to do 7.5 times 9.8 times the sine of 13 plus 7.5 times 1.41. And then you want to divide by the cosine of 13. And when you do that, you'll get F is equal to 27.8219 and so on. So you can just round to 28 newtons or just, I'm just going to round to actually 27.8 newtons, right? Because we measure force in newtons. So 27.8 newtons, that's going to be the force or the horizontal, the magnitude of the horizontal force, right? So 27.8 newtons, that's going to be your answer to this problem. And hopefully you found this useful.